What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, it has been a while, guys, I am sorry, but I needed to deal with stuff, lots of stuff, for about a good two weeks, but guess what, your boy, Draven, is a six-time, yeah, six-time, six-time champion, and, uh, well, now we can actually focus on everything else in, in, in Pokemon Sword and get things going. Now, off-screen, I did a lot of, uh, capturing... A lot of capturing of Pokemon and all that crud. As you can see, we have a nice amount of TRs right here. And on top of that, well, you guys haven't seen the treasures yet, but I, I sold most of my treasures to get a boatload of money. But the other items right here, like rare candies, experience candies, we got a crap ton of them. Now, take a look at the Pokemon that we are currently with. Of course, we got Bex, we got Bonesaw, Shadow Blade, Kiss, the Zigzagoon, the Galarian Zigzagoon. And then we got Michelangelo off screen, and then Big Booty Balto. Now, off screen, we did capture quite a few Pokemon, as you can probably tell. Probably two boxes worth of Pokemon right here. Now, um, the deal is this, guys. In Pokemon Sword, in this iteration right here, I do, I really, really want to use, uh, uh, native Pokemon so that's probably what we're gonna be doing right here But the other Pokemon that we capture yes We can actually put them in the jobs to actually grow levels and do whatever and well Look at that. This guy's been waiting for us for about two weeks. There you are. I've been waiting Let's have a battle you and me. We'll get bit of training Sure, let's go. I knew you'd be up for it You've got to stay keener than anyone else's if we want to steal the spotlight from our rivals And just like that we are taking on our rival hop yet again. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Wooloo right here. Now, you guys have already noticed that two of my Pokemon are at different levels. Um, or at low levels, like uh, Shadow Blade. Yes, I call myself a different Shadow Blade, mainly because of the, uh, the nature and all that stuff. And plus, the, the different kinds of Pokeballs. You guys already know I like to use different Pokeballs for different Pokemon and all that crud. Not that it makes a difference, but, you know, we did that. Um, the reason why I'm coming back right here is because, well, you know, uh, eventually when we start beating gym leaders, we, oh yeah, well, we start getting more levels, uh, home calls, Michelangelo level 7, look at that. Um, we, as soon as we start doing that, guys, uh, you guys probably already know that, uh, over in the Pokemon capture area, your Pokemon, or the, the levels of these Pokemon get a little stronger. Uh, much more rare Pokemon come out, and the experience candy do does come in handy and all that stuff. Um, as of right now, I'm not using any of those experience candies because, well, you know, I just, uh, it's kind of not my style right now. Eventually, you know, when we get into the nitty gritty, into the later, the later stuff, I will show you guys exactly what we can do with those, uh, those candies and all that crap. So, as for a Pokemon team, I know that two Pokemon are technically other region Pokemon and all that crud, but yes, there will be some switches in Pokemon uh, throughout the whole game right here. That way we can have a nice little, uh, variety of Pokemon. And it, the funny thing is, guys, that, you know, in this game, you got Pokemon jobs, you got experience candies. They all work for a good reason to actually get the Pokemon up to par with the, the, the usual Pokemon that you have right here. And you have the move, uh, remember, the move, the leader. All in one person, so it's, it's you know, I, I, I couldn't say, it, like, you know, this game is pretty good uh, for that, that that little situation right there. So, it's not like I'm not preparing or anything, guys. So, as you can see, my Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. And, yes, we have defeated Hop with just two Pokemon. Yes, we layeth the smack it down on his, you know what. And, well, you know what? I'll even give you one of my lead cards. That's how good I think you uh, did in that battle. And yes, we get Hop's lead card, which, yeah, I, I really don't care. Our gym challenge starts right now from here in Moto Stoke. Although the first gym leader will have to challenge, in, uh, it, challenge is a town far off from here. Still, you better believe I'm going to keep on winning uh, my way to the uh, championship match. Hello, Geller. Meet your next champion from the sleepy town of Postwick. It's me, Hop. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So, let us move on right here. Uh, yeah, we've been waiting for two weeks, guys, and, well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually... I think we already did everything right here, so let's go right ahead and start our adventure. There's going to be trainers, going to be a lot of stuff here, guys. 
Talk to this guy, Route 3. If your precious Pokemon get injured, don't forget to heal him up with a potion. And you need antidotes to fix up poison. Just remember to stock up on items, and you won't have to visit the Pokemon Center so, so often, which is true. And here we are in another area where now we can actually find some interesting Pokemon. And, well, I get caught up right here with a wild Zigzagoon. Definitely not going to capture this guy since we already have our own Pokemon. As you guys already know, I named our Zigzagoon Kiss after the band. It's actually Kiss uh, two S's and all that crud. And uh, I was thinking of naming it like Gene or you know after uh, some of the uh, after some of the guys from Kiss, but you know, I think I think Kiss itself was much better than anything. So let's go ahead and start battling. You saw the opening ceremony, right? Then you know why I'm excited. I want to battle. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Take it on last Rai. Ray or something like that. And she's going to be coming out with a bull pitch right here. Shoo, here we go. A Bex. Ready to kick some butt. Take some names. Level 19. Double kick. Let's go. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Quick attack from uh, Vulpix itself. And, well, there we go with a double kick. Hopefully that, well, that will actually take a, well, give it a, a you know, give it a, a nice hit right there. And, well, here comes a double kick again, and Vulpix has been defeated. Mm-hmm. And, well, let's see. More of our Pokemon grow levels. And we defeat less, uh, last ride. Now, uh, I did read on one of my comments from previous episodes uh, if I could speed up this the whole battle process right here guys uh, I wish I could but I'm not exactly playing an emulator I'm actually playing on the capture card right here so that that right there's gonna be a little bit hard to actually do guys so uh, bear with me uh, there will be some trainers that I'm probably gonna skip over or better yeah I'm just gonna you know battle but not commentate that way you guys can actually see the whole adventure right here so let's go right ahead and start battling I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. Holy crud. Okay, so she must be a very, very smart person. Here we have schoolgirl Hannah wanting to battle us. And she's coming out with a Pancham. Now, there are quite a few Pokemon that I wanted to capture over in the other location, but never did. I actually captured... I actually only captured Pokemon that were... Uh, in Gigantamax form. Some of them were rare, like Bonesaw right here. And here comes a Tackle Attack. Oh god, okay, so that that really hurt. And the good thing for me, I actually taught Bonesaw Dragon Claw. And Bonesaw. Almost at taking out Pancham. Man, we are, uh, we are actually, we are actually in a, in a nice battle right here. You guys haven't noticed. I've actually changed my appearance as well. I went straight for a long-haired Draven because I kind of feel like in Galar, we're going to let the hair going out. And, uh, well, there we go. Growing levels again, and Hannah has been defeated. Happy about that, too. Okay, so let us move on. There are quite a few items that you can actually get, quite a few Pokemon, which I will eventually capture off-screen. And one of these Pokemon happens to be Machop, a very stable Pokemon, fighting-type Pokemon. So, I, I mentioned early on, guys, that I was actually going to be capturing, or I was actually going to be using a lot of native Pokemon. I do have quite a few Pokemon in mind that I do want to use. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's grab this. We found ourselves a Burn Heal. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. we got to read this again. Trainer tips. You can set up a camp on routes, and your Pokemon can earn experience points from camping. Try visiting other po people's camps, too, when you uh, find tents along your way. You know, I've never actually tried it, guys, the camp, so that's something that we're probably going to have to ch take a look in this uh, in this walkthrough right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out Michelangelo to Big Booty Balto right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Oh, instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. I'll have to check how strong you are. We're pretty strong, guys. We're very, very strong. So, you are challenged by schoolboy Marvin, and, well, let's go right ahead and uh, see what he's got. He's got himself a Badoo. Badoo's looking uh, pretty uh, good right there. And here we have Big Booty Balto. That is the wrong Pokemon I actually have, and I did not teach him in a, uh, did not teach him a, a valuable move to actually get through this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be switching out to Bex. 
Like I said, guys, we're going to be switching up Pokemon here and there. And let's go straight to Bex. Okay. And the Absorb Attack takes some of our HP, maybe just one. And let's go straight up with a Flame Charge Attack right here. And that right there takes out Badoo. We get some speed, and Badoo defeated. And, well, look at that. Pokemon are growing levels, yes. Yeah, we're getting prepared for the next battle. And, well, Gossiflor is coming in. So we're going to continue on right here with uh, Bex. Now, the wide... Now, uh, some, like, if you guys are wondering, too... Yes, I have captured some Pokemon that I've used in the past, and I'm actually keeping them stored right here. Um, if I go into my Pokemon bank, if that's what it's called, or Pokemon School, I do have Pokemon there. Lots of Pokemon that I actually exchanged or transferred over from uh, my 3DS. Um, some of those Pokemon will be making an appearance here and there. Some shiny Pokemon, and would you look at that? Well, hello there, Sonya. Hey, a gym challenger! You look real ace out there during this opening ceremony. Why, well, thank you. Oh, but where's Hop? Uh, he went a different way. Well, you're rivals after all. I guess it makes sense that you train on your own. Oh, I know. Let me tell you about something a, a bit interesting. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by the chairman, Rose. Have we ever gone there before? Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. The building over there process it into energy. Hmm. In other words, the chairman is responsible for providing Gala, the Gala region with energy too. Oh, you don't say. Okay. Can't say I really, uh, I really get him, but the chairman seems like a pretty brilliant guy, right? Here, a little something for having a chinwag with me. It's an escape rope. A uh, chinwag. Okay. I, I, again, I'm still trying to figure out the whole like, you know. The, the whole vernacular that these guys have right here. And I'll heal up your Pokemon too. Okay, so that's that. The way to tur uh, Turfield is pretty long, but that's a kind of challenge in its own right. Good luck, Gym Challenger. Okay, all right. I will see you later. And well, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna keep on moving on right here. There's really nothing else to see. You know, we never really make an appearance right there. Uh, never really. That doesn't really mean anything at all, I guess. And here we are in an area where, you know, an interesting Pokemon are located. And, well, we're going to be battling this girl first. Were you thinking of passing through without even looking at my Pokemon? Yeah, pretty much. I kind of just don't want to look at the Pokemon. But here it is. Kaylee wants the battle. And she is coming out with a Purloin right here. Let's go, Baldo. Big booty Baldo. Ready to take shape. Kick some butts, take some names right here, and let's go straight for a nuzzle attack. Nuzzle attack will actually work pretty good. There we go. And the attack has fallen, but here comes a nuzzle attack. And that, par that paralyzes uh, Purloin right there. So now, let's go straight for a swift attack right here. It doesn't miss. Yes, I did teach uh, this Pokemon swift. And that does a lot of damage, so let's go right ahead and do this one more time, Swift Attack. Let's go. And Purloin has been defeated. And look at that. Everybody, again, growing levels. Shadow Blade, growing some levels. And it's learning Fury Attack. So let's go right ahead and take away Leer. And there we go. Shadow Blade has learned uh, Fury Attack. And here comes a Squovit. I think that's the, yeah, I think that's the Pokemon that likes to take our berries and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead and uh, battle another Squovit. Beat it within an inch of his life, probably. And look at those chubby cheeks. Look at those chubby cheeks. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Just like that, we get quite a few hits right there. And Squovit has been defeated. And, well, let's see more experience points for all of us right there and we have defeated another trainer by the name of Kaylee and well let's see let's just move on right here here is well let's see there's here is a tree uh, I think the maximum amount is a uh, maximum amount of shakes is three I could be wrong guys 
Comment down below if you guys have done more than three shakes. If so, did a Squovit or any other Pokemon come down and attack and steal your berries? Because I always, I always do three. Now here we have a TM, which is TM37 beat up. It's a very good move, a dark type move. The user gets all party of Pokemon to attack the target. The more party of Pokemon, the greater number of attacks. So this is actually going to be a useful move that, you know, we can actually, actually hold on. We can actually use for one of our Pokemon right here. So, oh crap baskets. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So, beat up can actually not be learned by anybody. Holy crud. Light screen, reflect. Wow. Okay, never mind. A lot of these, a lot of these moves. Yeah. So, as you can see, guys, there are some Pokemon right here. Uh, these Roly Poly kind of Pokemon. You can actually capture. It can turn into a pretty, a pretty good Rock slash Fire type Pokemon. If you guys haven't noticed or haven't remembered, I actually captured a captured this Pokemon and named it Krakatoa. Very useful Pokemon to actually have on your team if you don't have a Fire type Pokemon. I would suggest getting it. But since I already have my fire type Pokemon, I'm just going to stay put and capture it off screen and actually um, have it on the on a, on a team box or something like that. Something that I kind of want to showcase here too, guys, is the amount of teams that I actually will be having here. And well, this is probably the worst matchup that we're going to be going against. So let's go straight to Bex right here. And well, let's go. Let's get it, Bex. Right here. Bex coming out, ready to go, and here comes a present, and that doesn't affect me at all. That so that that probably was a present to actually heal me. So here we go, flame charge, hopefully for the win. And Delibird is not happy at all. Delibird got his butt kicked, and just like that, we grow more levels for our Pokemon. Yes, look at that, and he's not happy. He's like, <laughs> he is not happy at all. Okay, so let us move on right here, and uh, let's see, nothing to see right here, but this is actually a place where you can actually camp out your Pokemon, which we will eventually get to uh, later on, and here we have one more trainer, maybe uh, one of two more trainers, but you know what, let's get let's continue with Bonesaw right here, let's see what he can do. Every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type has a strong points and weak ones. You're not, you're not mistaken. That is true. So here we go, taking on Schoolboy Peter, wanting to battle us. Let's go. And here comes a Sizzlipede. Now Sizzlipede is another Pokemon that I would suggest having because it is both a Bug and Fire type Pokemon. And many of you guys already know. Yes, I called it Baconator in my Pokemon Shield version, I think. Yeah, Sword and Shield version and all that crud. And well, there we go. And let's see, coming out with a Dotler. Let's go straight to Big Booty Balto. And, well, let's see. Um, so, some of you guys, too, who are brand new, okay? I get it. I understand it. Why are you doing Pokemon Sword and Shield again? Well, first off, I'm actually doing only Pokemon Sword because, well, I thought it would have, at the time, I thought it would have been a good idea to actually just do two, the both versions, show off the differences and all that crud. And uh, to be quite honest, there was only there was only a little bit of differences, just a small amount of differences, and that was gym leaders, different scenes, different Pokemon, and in all honesty, it was very unnecessary to be to be quite honest when I did the Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield walkthrough, including the Isle of Armor. I think that's what it was. And so in this walkthrough right here. I'm gonna go with the, the same kind of a uh, situation where I'm gonna just use uh, I'm just gonna use native Pokemon, and from there I'm going to progress my Pokemon that you know I've had uh, in different teams from different versions and all that stuff. Um, later on, once we defeat the Gal Galarian League, then you know we go into the Crown Tundra and then we go into the Isle of Armor, which we have not gone to, and you guys are gonna see a, quite a difference right over there. And well, that is that. There's a Pokemon right there that would love to be captured. And Rat Baskets might as well capture it right now. So here it is, a Roly Coley. Now, again, Roly Coley has the ability to evolve into a Rocket Fire type Pokemon. 
a very, very good combination. And well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to throw a timer ball. Really not trying to uh, battle it. Just going to try and capture it right there and then. So there we go. One, two, come on, three. And there we go. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, so Pokemon are growing levels, and here we have Roly Coley, and it is the Cole Pokemon, Rock type Pokemon, right now. Most of the body, mo most of its body has the same composition as Cole. Fittingly, this Pokemon was first discovered in coal mines about 400 years ago. So what's going to happen is I'm going to nickname this Pokemon Krakatoa. And it will be included into the PC of, uh, you know, different teams, which I will fix up later on. So, here we go. Crack. Uh, let's see. Toa. And I'm naming it after the big old volcano that, you know, just destroyed everything. Could name it Vesuvius, but, you know, I think I named another Pokemon Vesuvius at some point. Okay. So, that's that. Let's grab this. Found ourselves a Super Potion. And believe it or not, that's our first one. And well, actually, let's grab this item right here. Found ourselves two X defenses. And talk to this lady. Hi, -oh, me and my little sister have uh, set ourselves up to, uh, as a pop up Pokemon Center service. Not that we asked anyone if we could or should. Gallimine is pretty rough on a team, isn't it? I'll heal up your Pokemon uh, you f or for you, uh, my friend, or whatever. Okay. So that's pretty cool right there. So, we're going to stop right here, guys. It was uh, very nice to come back and uh, take on this whole thing. So, the plan is we're going to get at least three badges and then start capturing some more Pokemon, boosting up everything, and making sure we get all our teams into our Pokemon uh, boxes right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for staying patient with me. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button, and yeah. If you guys want to make a small donation here, links are in the description. I will see you guys next time.